in the song '80s Baby," you said that your daddy is a user. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how I grew up, man. <laughs> so, so that's true. That wasn't just a song. Uh, yeah, that's true. Everything about it, true. I'm, uh, you see what it says? <laughs> crack baby, man. You see what that says? If my daddy smoked dope, that make you a crack baby. So that's it. You gotta just listen to all my music, like '80s baby. Seriously, like a lot of folks wonder, like, man, what is he talking about? But it's real. What do you think was was the most difficult thing growing up and having your dad use? Uh, I don't really know because I ain't never had one, so I, I really couldn't tell. You. Like, I just go with the flow, but I just know it's hard. Like, you ain't gonna make it too far. Like, you'll be in trouble. Like, some kids really don't, but like. The majority, like 90% out of the 100, most of them gonna be locked up or just hustling. Without no daddy, that's all you got, cause you gonna be out there wandering in the streets. Every every boy love their mama, but like they want their daddy around, but if he ain't, then you know, you just, you all out. You just TTG, you just train to go. You just do anything. But fortunately for me, I ain't never had no daddy, so I just did anything anyway. Like how, how often would you see your father, you know, when you were young? In the period, I ain't really seen him about, about once or twice a year. Hmm. I'd have been going years without seeing my daddy, so you know what I'm saying? I don't even dwell on that. I just keep working. I feel you. So, I mean, g growing up in this, in this type of environment, like how old were you when you first started getting involved in street business? About... 13, 14 years old. 13, 14 years old. Yeah. Like, do you remember? Do you remember what got you into it initially? No, just being around and living in that atmosphere. Like, when you're living in the streets and you can't move out the hood, then that's all you know. Then that's what it's gonna be. It ain't gonna be like I wish I could play football or basketball. Like I wish that's the route I would have took. Then the streets and do this, but you know what I'm saying. God do everything for yeah. a reason. I'm still breathing, so this how I eat rap, so that's what I'm going with, you know. I mean a lot of a lot of kids get into it because they have to help support their families. Yeah. You know, was that was that the case for you? Yeah, you gotta do that. You're gonna have to help support your family. Like I got two kids. So you know how that is. Two kids, you're gonna have to do whatever, anything for profit. You gotta have your kids need a lot, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we talked about last time, you know, that you were, you were friends with Dobie uh, yeah. before he got killed. Like, if you, if you look back on your life, how many, how many friends do you think you've lost, you know, from violence? Man, it's a lot. Like, more than 20. Just a lot. 20? I say, like, probably, I just say, like, my close people, not that many, but, like, just people I know, it's a good bit. Like, not like not like my inner circle. Like I really ain't lost nothing. But like the like people I just know a lot. Yeah. How many close friends do you think? I mean, not do you think, but how many of your actual close friends that you still talk to, you know, are in prison right now doing long bids? Uh, I say about twenty. Twenty people. Yeah. Twenty people. What's the what's the longest bid someone's doing right now that you're close to? 40. 40 years? Yeah. Damn. You don't have to say any names, but what, what did this person get 40 years doing? No, he just like took an aggravated assault to trial and got 40 years. How old was he when he went in, when he got that 40 years? Uh, probably about 18, 19. So you're talking about someone getting out going in as a teenager and coming out when they almost a senior citizen. Yeah, that's how it go, man.